Hi everybody, it's Patrick McDonald, and I just want to get you prepared for your live speech coming up very soon. So, as you know from your reading uh, in this module, there are three types of public speaking. Persuasive speaking, which means to argue for or against a course of action. Informative speaking, which will be um, a speech that we'll be doing pretty soon, is to um, teach or educate about a topic in an unbiased, objective, um, accurate manner, and uh, speaking to entertain, which means speaking for listener enjoyment. And that's the live speech that we'll be doing, which is a uh, personal story uh, speech. So you have a couple of options for this speech. It will be to entertain the audience about an event, experience or relationship that you believe had a sp significant influence on your personality. So it could be, you know, a school that you attended, a class that you took, an employment experience, you know, studying abroad. It could be a book that you read, a film that you watched, an art exhibit that you saw. You know, it could be a relationship with a mentor, a parent, a friend, maybe something that happened to you, you know, accidentally or something that happened in your community. Um, so there's an emphasis on time management. We are trying to deliver the speech in two minutes. We are trying to narrow the content of our speech so that we can fit the speech within the time frame. So you don't want to have too little content or too much content. It's important to time yourself and make sure that you're within the time frame. Um, you want to be expressive with your delivery and your voice. So you want to use your voice like a musical instrument and try to make it go high when necessary or low when necessary. You might want to think about things like speech rate or speech volume or speech pitch. You also want to utilize your uh, hands and body language. And when you are speaking that night, please be prepared to show yourself from the waist up. Um, another thing is to, um, try to be descriptive in your storytelling and utilize the senses, utilize visual imagery, utilize examples so that the audience can see and imagine the topic in some way. Um, and then your speech should have an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. So the body are the main points that you'll be developing in your speech. Your introdu introduction tries, you introduce yourself, you introduce your topic generally, and you get us interested in the topic, and you tease us with the topic, and you relate the topic to us in some way. And then in your conclusion, you emphasize some kind of key main point or main takeaway that you would like the audience to remember upon completion of your speech. So I'll be putting this information into the assignment and I'm looking forward to meeting you and seeing you live again for this two minute entertaining um, speech.